Avenue or call at 352-861-0011 and place your order. That's 352-861-0011. With Honey Baked Ham, you are sure to stay out of the kitchen unless you're sneaking seconds. All right, six minutes after 8 o'clock, 54 degrees. Temperatures today reaching 82 degrees, so a very mild and beautiful day. Look at how beautiful it is right now. Just expect that to be the whole day. Partly cloudy skies. In fact, look for that to be the whole week. It looks like it's just going to be a really beautiful week. And the forecast does go as far as Easter Sunday, which is um, looks like it's going to be a nice day. 87 degrees is the high, according to the weatherman, and regarding uh, Easter Sunday. So Nice. Not bad. Um, Galen Newnold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are y'all? Pretty good. We uh, we did a few things on Saturday. One of them was we went to Cedar Key, and uh, there was a big art show there, and the Life South bus was right there. Yeah. Right oh yeah. There. Good. Is that is that? Do they have an office in Cedar Key, or did it, did it drive all the way from Gainesville? Yeah, I know it just comes over from uh, Gainesville. Sometimes it comes from Chief when we we uh, we have a donor center in Chief. So. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. We saw that. Was hey, it is life. In fact, I think it made it in one of our pictures that we posted online. <laughs> I think, I think so. so. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was really busy over there. Oh my gosh, I I, I oh, have goodness. been to Cedar Key hun- well, dozens of times. Maybe that's more accurate. Um, but I don't think I've ever been there for the art show. It was really, really. I don't know. Nice. It was really nice. Anyway, it was wonderful. How was your weekend? It was good. It was uh, it was cold. I you know it's good yard weather to work in the yard. So that's pretty much what I did. Today, a big day in baseball. Uh, I mean, it's uh, about the same as it's not as big as it was last week, but yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a good day in baseball. Just wondering. Um, what the thing when we get to it that I have for us for us today is the uh, jobs that you would like to have for one day in sports. The sports jobs you'd like to have for one day. Okay. <laughs> and I guess this is the results of a, uh, a survey that uh, Bleacher Report did. Bleacher, is that what it's called? Bleacher Report? Sure. Bleacher Report, yeah. Yep. Yep. Let me first go to the telephone. Good morning, you're on the air. Good morning, guys. Hey, Hugh. Hey, Garland. Galen, uh, with your blood mobile units, uh, where are they manufactured in our country, and uh, what does a unit like that uh, normally sell for? Well, they're actually old school buses, so we we buy them. Um, sometimes we buy them, you know, a used chassis and frame, and sometimes we have the we get a new chassis and frame. But they're made actually in Hudson, Florida. So, yeah. Wow, never knew that. That's where they're, Thank you, Hugh. Yeah. That's an, an, a question. It costs about, cost about two hundred thousand. Oh my there. gosh, two hundred! Wow. I would think an old school bus would be like a hundred dollars or something. No, it's not the. It's it's everything else. It's got two generators. It's you have to completely rebuild the motor. The chassis will run forever, um, but the generators don't. And then you have everything inside. And yeah, there's a lot more to it than you think. With the cabinetry, it's it's a RV. So. So we went to a sport it, that has to be a lot more durable than an RV. Yeah, really. I mean, it's, it is amazing. If, you, if you think about it, about thirty people a day get on the blood mobile seven days a week. Yeah. Um, so and they're on and off, on and off, doors opening and closing, and yeah, air conditioners and everything else. It is nice yeah. Ar- around around uh, Garden Country Day. That that little half hour of <laughs> of air conditioning is always welcome, right? Sir, sir. So we went to a sporting event on Saturday. We watched uh, a few people shooting shotguns. I've never been to one of those things. I've never shot a shotgun. I've never shot a gun. <laughs> mm-hmm. I already discussed this with her, I know, but it was but it was fun to watch. It was really fun to watch. It was. Uh, so you didn't shoot when you went out there. You when when they were skeet shooting. You didn't. No, didn't no, no. I was uh, videotaping. Yes. I almost had a chance. Don Nottingham asked me because he needed an extra person, and he mentioned it to me real briefly, and then uh, he instead recruited a photographer. So. Yeah. Yeah. Which is uh, which was good. M- because, Maria's, yeah. Because I wanted to take pictures. I didn't want to shoot. Plus, mm-hmm. I'd probably hurt somebody or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I've never done it. So, have you ever done it? I can't remember if we asked. If I asked yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just not very good at it. I, I, I'm amazed you've never shot a gun, though. Really? Yeah. 
Well, some people, you know, it's it's not their cup of tea. It's no, no, no. I didn't. I'm not. I'm not judging. I'm just kind of. Oh, I'm not. St- that, that doesn't mean I wouldn't, Alice. or that I don't want to. Yeah, I, I, well, that's that's my whole point. It's it's not like you're you're completely against them or anything. That's why I'm just a little. No, oh, well, I, that's just, I mean, I had a BB, I, I'd never even had a BB gun, I bought one for Alex, and we we used to shoot that thing. Yeah, you guys were great, shooting those cans <laughs> off of the fence. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty good at that. That was pretty cool. That was about it, yeah. That was back in the old WTMC days, when we had a big old field. <laughs> yeah. We could shoot them in. There. But, yeah, it was, but it was fun to watch, and, and, uh, and it was just, uh, um, I mean, just a really nice day, so. And Don Nottingham was such a genuine guy, he's... He is so giving. He he is so wonderful. Galen, here's the thing. I'm guessing we were standing with a dozen or so famous football players. I didn't. I mean, I don't know him. So I don't. I, if you were there, you would have gone. Oh my gosh! There's you would have named him. And yeah. I, but I wouldn't have known any of them. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes. I'm guessing it was the NFL alumni. That's who put it on. So. Yeah, it was pretty right. awesome. All right, so I got the uh, sports jobs we'd like to try just for one day. And uh, before we do that, how is the blood supply right now? Um, We're we're in really critical need of O still. That's kind of where we're stuck at. We we just need to uh, collect more. That's that's what it comes down to. So we need more people to walk through our doors. So get out there. Give the gift of life to donate blood. Just donate blood. And uh, we like the... uh, the uh, uh, verbiage on the marquee of Life South on 16th Avenue and East Silver Springs Boulevard. Uh, it said, um, uh, "Not, uh, uh, not just a doctor can save a life." And I thought that was so cool. Oh, you don't? Yeah. That was great. All right. Well, let's thank uh, Palm Garden of Ocala and Penn Flooring for making this announcement possible. That donating blood is the only way um, there is a blood supply. Palm Garden offers health services, rehabilitative services, and they do it all under the roof at 2700 Southwest 34th Street, where they have skilled nursing. Mm -hmm. That's an important part to know. And Penn Flooring. Check out the flooring they have in their showroom at 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the McKay-Williams Bridge. You'll see for yourself why we chose Penn Flooring for our floor here at WOCA. All right, here we go. Sports jobs we'd like to try for a day. Bat Boy. Would you like to be a Bat Boy for one day, Galen? Uh, I mean, if, if of all the jobs would be in baseball, that wouldn't be my favorite. No, I mean, they, they do a lot of grunt work, but yeah. Uh, let's see. No, uh, they're all old. They're not boys. They're all in their 30s and 40s. Really? It's like a, it's like a real job. So, yeah. What is the job? What is what is their main uh, job? Oh, they, they well, they have to they take care of the equipment. They make sure that the, the clubhouse is clean and the dugout is clean, and um, they make sure that all the the players have everything they need. And oh, really? Little, you know, and then they get balls during the game and give them to the umpire and stuff like that. Wow, yeah. that sounds interesting. Full time job. Uh. A, a mascot for a professional team for one day. Would you like to do that? You've been no, absolutely not. I'm a, I'm anti mascot. You don't like mascots, so you don't even really? want to be in the costume for a day. No, no. I, I mean, I I wear our dog suit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're both. I imagine wearing that for more than I have to. But uh, yeah, that's no, absolutely not. The next <laughs> one I think you'd be very good at. The next one is NFL draft analyst. Would you like to be an NFL draft analyst just for one day? Uh, yeah, I think it'd be fun. Um, you know, you just get out there and, you know, throw out a bunch of uh, idioms like he's got a high motor and uh, a <laughs> smart guy and athleticism is off the charts, that kind of stuff, yeah. Oh, how cool. I could do it. You'd be good at it. Um, there you go. I don't know if I'd be good at it, but I could do it. <laughs> the, the next one, uh, bullpen catcher. Would you like to be bullpen catcher for a day? You know, I would. I would. Uh, just to hang out in the bullpen um, would be the fun part. You know, actually catching a 98-mile-an-hour fastball, I don't think I'd be too keen on. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I would love to just hang out in the bullpen. Bullpen coach would be better. That guy does nothing. <laughs> you're up. You sit down. You're going in. Um, you know, counts how many pitches they throw. That's about it. So I, I could do that. Um, the baseball stadium organist. 
I would like to do that for a day. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be, that'd be fun. Da, yeah. da, 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 da. Oh, that's the Gators. The game, all of a sudden, you'd have to start playing the organ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, doesn't the music have to ma- match the mood of the game? Right. I guess so. Yeah. See, I, but that, I, I guess, yeah. That, that when I'm when I'm at a baseball game, that stuff's always more of a distraction to me. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this one means. Keeper of the cup. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> what Keeper is of that? the cup. Keeper of the cup. <laughs> do I, I don't know what that is. Oh, I need to look it up. Oh. And I, I, uh... <laughs> okay, hold on. I mean, is it the guy who, like, uh, the, the Stanley Cup security guy? I don't know. Hold on. 15 sports. I, I, I don't know. I'm, 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 let me look it up again. Keeper of the cup. <laughs> I, I just put down some of the titles. I didn't do the whole thing. Here we go. All right, I'll, I'll find Keeper of the cup. All right, this is what it says here. Oh, Bat Boy, NFL draft analyst, bullpen catcher, keeper of the cup. Oh, yeah, it is the NFL Cup. Uh, NHL Cup. Oh. You can, you can yeah, win. Yeah, the Stanley Cup guy. Yeah, yeah. Stanley Cup guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, what's that? <laughs> what, what is, how is that a job? Well, you know, the Stanley Cup, it's got a history of people drinking out of it, partying with it. It's got oh. a long history of in hot tubs and um and so when you win the stanley cup every player on the nhl team gets to spend a day with it in the off season oh so and they can do whatever they want to do with it some take it like their high school or their hometown and some of I, i've seen it like skiing down a mountain oh my um, so, you know there's that kind of stuff how yeah. fun and so the keeper of the cup takes it from player to player that wouldn't be a bad job. I mean, let's be honest. You are you are a hero every time you go. <laughs> the Stanley Cup is the most revered trophy uh, in sports. Wow, that is pretty awesome. I think I like that job. Uh, the next the next job on the list is professional fantasy sports player. A professional fantasy sports player for one day. No, I, I mean that takes a lot of work. Those people just grind it out study stats and don't care about the game or who wins they, they just care about you know individual players that that wouldn't do anything um it says here the very best thing about going to a minor league baseball game is experiencing the constantly ridiculous promotions such as the ted, yeah. ted williams popsicle night political correctness yeah. night salute to indoor plumbing night <laughs> I like yeah. that one. And so the job for the day would be pro- uh, minor league baseball promotions director. <laughs> you- that, that would be like a dream job for me. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I I know a few of them. I, you know, I've got them because we'll work with them in like towns in which we collect blood and we have minor league teams, whether it be football or lacrosse or soccer or whatever. Uh, that that would be awesome. I mean, they don't get paid very much. Uh, and they're all young because it's like their first job, but it's still amazing. So what's more important, coming up with a clever idea or, or making sure that idea gets pulled off? Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> if, you, if, if you have an idea that you can't execute, then you're an idea fairy. And then you don't do anything. You just yeah. come up with ideas that are unexecuted. So the hard part is executing a really good idea. So how do you pull off political correctness night? How do you do that? <laughs> Well, you know, you just say we're going to be politically correct, and um, <laughs> you let the fans, you let the fans go from there. And, oh, uh, if you've ever seen the photos from political correctness night, it, it's pretty uh, hilarious. <laughs> People just get into really stereotypical things, and um, it's it's fun. Oh wow! Uh, the next one before we take the break is golf caddy for a day. Would you like to be a golf caddy for a day? I. I think so. Again, a lot of work. You're going to walk about five miles carrying a 30-pound bag. You have to pick up divots and lead putts, but uh, depending on the course, I would definitely do it. How come you don't have to pull it around in a cart? How come you got to carry it and not pull it in a golf cart? They believe the carts are bad, like on the PGA Tour. Oh, okay. Carts are bad. Okay. That would be my T-shirt. Carts are bad. Pull it behind you so you don't yeah. have to carry it. All right, let's take wow. a little, take, uh, can't do that. Take a little break. We'll that. be right back with Galen. We're talking about the sports jobs we'd like to try for one day. We'll be right back. All weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. 
A mix of clouds and sunshine Monday, breezy this afternoon. High Monday, 77 to 83 degrees. Monday night, patchy clouds, low 55 to 66. Tuesday, a mix of clouds and sunshine, breezy in the afternoon on Tuesday. High 78 to 83. Wednesday, sunny to partly cloudy and becoming breezy. High 78 to 83 on Wednesday. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Mike Lucini. If you're looking for the real deals in plant bargains, then this is the week, and the place is Bob Wines Camellia Gardens in Ocala. Careful, you may have to step around some of the remodeling going on, but you'll find deals like these. All roses are sale price during their annual rose sale with double knockouts, all colors, starting at just $15.99. There's a huge selection of hummingbird and butterfly plants starting at $7.99. And of course, those super duper dwarf ever blooming roses. Red Ruffle Azaleas, they're flying out the door for just $3.99. Gerber Daisies, just $2.99. And there's a BOGO on Nandina and Ixora. Come see all the exciting stuff as we completely redo our old-fashioned greenhouse. It's at Bob Wines Camellia Gardens, Southeast 38th Street, Ocala. Daily till 4.30, Saturdays till 2. In the same blooming place since 1952. Joe Reichel, how are you? What's new? Well, Jan, Intech is hosting an event on Tuesday, April 11th. If aging is pushing you out of your home, we will tell you how you can push back. Well, what I'm pushing is 60, so I would love to attend for Palm Garden. Oh, I'd love to see you there. Be at Intech on Tuesday, April 11th at 1030. Register by calling 352-351-0114. That's 352-351-0114. Tick-tock, the days fly by and refined tax season is upon us once again. Not to worry, though, with a reputable CPA firm on your side, you can rest assured that all of your needs will be handled in a professional and thorough manner. Robson, Scribner, and Stewart is just that firm. They're there for their clients year-round, not just during tax season, to handle your needs and answer any questions you may encounter. At Robson, Scribner, and Stewart, there is no client too small or too large. Their expertise ranges from the single individual to the largest of corporations. Get your return prepared by a professional who will use their years of experience to ensure that your tax returns outcome will leave you in the best possible position. Call them today at 694-4184. Robson, Scribner, and Stewart. They're there for you today. Again, that number is 694-4184. Time is of the essence, so don't delay. 694-4184. All right, uh, 23 minutes after 8 o'clock. Beautiful Monday morning. I hope you had a great weekend. Galen Newnold is on the phone. And remember, we have fun with Galen, and hopefully we bring something entertaining to the show each morning with Galen. Uh, he certainly helps us out with that. And the important message, of course, is to donate blood. We're talking right now about um, sports jobs we'd like to have for one day, and I think some of them Galen would like to have for a day. I'd like to do some of these for a day. Uh, the next one is interesting. It's Fan Ambassador. Are you familiar with what the Fan Ambassador does? Uh, don't they make sure that they have parking and they can find their seat? Or is it the seat guy? All right, this is the what, guy who gets to find their seat. This is what it says. I'm just reading what it says because I'm not even clear even after reading it. It says... Um, the responsibilities of a Wrigley Field fan ambassador include uh, proactively producing acts of kindness for fans, uh, particularly children, that will give them positive, lasting memories and creating exciting and unforgettable moments by executing various game day related fan programs. Wow. That, that, that sounds almost yeah. a, as creative as the, uh, the minor league baseball. <laughs> director yeah yeah i think it's the assistant to the marketing person so yeah i mean they're probably the guy who when you walk up into the stadium and you're trying to find your seat and they're that seat guy slash making sure you're getting the right seat make sure you don't sit where you're not supposed to guy okay okay that's That's not not just an usher huh well when when i went when i went to not allowed to call just ushers anymore (laughs) <laughs> oh. So now they're fan ambassador. A fan ambassador. Oh, I get it. It's just a new name. Let me take a phone call. Good morning. You're on the air with Galen. Yes, good morning again, everybody. Hey. See, I would really love to be the flag man at either the Daytona 500 or the Indianapolis 500 race. Oh, that does sound fun, yeah. Well, if nothing else, it'd be one heck of a close view of the race. Can you do that wrong? Is there any way to get that job and do it wrong? 
No, well, I, it's pretty, you know, you, it's the green flag at the start, yellow <laughs> in case of an accident, and the checkered at the end. I mean, you know, it so, seems pretty simple to me. <laughs> yeah, I would make a mistake, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Well, that does sound fun, though. All right, thank you. That's not on the list. Yeah, you're not as close as you used to be because they, they kind of, everything's an electronic thing. It's, uh, but, yeah. Yeah. Well, see, I would, I would, if if I got the call, if there's only three flags, I think I'd be okay. Uh huh. If somebody else was deciding, well, there's a lot more than that. They can, can they control the caution flags. They control all the lights. They but who who makes the decision? Does somebody else tell you wave this flag? Oh, I'm sure they do. Yeah. Okay. Like if you're the honorary flag guy, I'm sure there would be somebody standing there right next to you. That'd be a cool promotion, a cool contest. WOCA could team I up with one of those it. sports like, yeah. like you know, the uh, uh, Tampa Bay Rays or, or the Daytona 500, and we could have a contest, and, you know, you could the, the winner could be a flag person for a day or, right. you know, a bat boy or something. That would be, be, that cool. Would be cool. That would be a neat promotion. No, I know they already do a lot of those things. So, so Good yeah. morning. You're on the air. Yes, yeah, me, Tom. Yeah. Two things. One... With all the jobs you're talking about in the and enlisting in the uh, sports field, it just proves the point that there's a niche in the world for everyone. Right, right. I mean, not just in the sports field, but everywhere. I mean, I mean, some of the jobs might sound silly, but hey, you know, if that's what you love, if, that, if that's something you love to do, it's something you love to do. Yeah, yeah. There's and two, and two. I a little bit. I was on my way to drop off Jillian at school, and I went by where your house is located, and the um, utilities people uh, trucks were coming out at that time. So I'm guessing you have power back. Oh, good, good, <laughs> good. Yeah. All right, thank you. Tom. You have a great day. Bye, bye. Thank you, Tom. Uh, the next job, Galen, on the list is third base umpire. Would you like to be the third base umpire? By the way, this job pays. Th- this job pays three hundred thousand dollars a year. Wow! Uh, would I would I like to do it for a day? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that as a career. I mean, those guys they travel and uh, they're on the road. You know, a hunt to something like one hundred ninety five days a year. So that's a tough job. That's a and they have to work their way all the way up through the minor league system. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I could do it for a like a career. Uh, the next one is in-game entertainment crew have a job on there, and, and that means you might Those be the, the one. Who dance on the, yeah, they dance on the dugout, shoot t-shirts into the crowd with a t-shirt. <laughs> right, right. No, that'd be fun. I, I, I really believe. I see. I think those people get in the way. So uh, wouldn't you love to shoot fan. the t-shirt out there? That t-shirt gun looks fun. Yeah. I would do that. <laughs> you can buy them. They're pretty cheap. You can get them on eBay for like twenty bucks. Okay. We used to have one. It runs off a of CO two. Hey, why don't we do that at the next event? Why don't we oh, shoot nice. t-shirts Make out? Sure, just, as a, just a note to self, if you're going to do it, don't hit so, don't hit one of your board members in the face with a t-shirt. <laughs> Did you do that? <laughs> I may have. You may have. Uh, let's see. I, you got to pay attention when there's a t-shirt gun, right? Yeah, I would think so. Any Anything that shoots something probably has to have attention paid to it. I hit a 70-year-old man square in the forehead. Oh, oh, man. You mentioned bench coach before. I think bench coach is the last one on the list. Bench coach. Bench coach would be great. Make what? no decisions. Just go stand next to your manager and say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. The ultimate yes. I could do that for a game. 15 seconds. Where's the blood mobile? <laughs> blood mobile today is at the Publix on Mary Camp Road. Nice. Way out the store. Nice. All right, Galen. Thank you. Have a, a, a great day, and we'll see you to tom- uh, talk to you tomorrow. Sounds great. Thanks, y'all. All right, we'll be right back. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. A meeting of group of seven ministers, including Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, taking on new urgency after last week's nerve gas attack in Syria and the U.S. airstrike response. Some ministers aiming to pressure Russia to stop supporting Syria's president. Before the meeting, Secretary Tillerson visiting an Italian war memorial. We rededicate ourselves to holding to account any and all who commit crimes against the innocents. Tillerson visits Russia tomorrow. Fox's Simon Owen, a memorial in Stockholm, Sweden. 
For the four people who died Friday when a stolen truck rammed into a department store, police say the driver, a man from Uzbekistan, had been refused asylum. Sergio Garcia finally dons the green jacket winning the Masters Golf Tournament. It's been an amazing week and I'm going to enjoy it for, for the rest of my life. It's Garcia's first major title. He finished second in the Masters four times. Fox News, we report, you decide. is a test to find out if you know it all when it comes to children. Time starts now. Name one of the leading killers of U.S. children aged 1 to 13. What's the best way to protect children in a car crash? At what age and size should a child start using a booster seat? Where can you find the answers to these questions? Car crashes are one of the leading killers of U.S. children. Many of those deaths could be prevented by making sure that kids are in the right seat for their age and size. Don't assume you know it all when it comes to car seats for your child. Go to safercar.gov slash the right seat and know for sure. That's safercar.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Howdy folks, R.L. here for Dairy Queen Silver Springs. It's a new year full of good stuff and good food. So come on down to DQ at Silver Springs and start it off right. Because we've got things for your heart's delight. Chicken strips and pepper gravy and slaw or chili dogs oh so savory. Codfish and grilled burgers too. Made to order just for you. Creamy and frosty blizzards and shakes and all kinds of flavors for goodness sake. Dairy Queen Silver Springs where we always treat you like kings and queens. Hey, this is Matt Wilkerson from Verizon. You work all day, right? So why would you want to spend your night out shopping for that new phone? Well, Marion County, let me and Verizon help you out. I can deliver to your home or office, saving you precious time. Phone, tablets, internet, home phones, even accessories. Whatever you need, we will deliver free of charge. Call me at the store, 352-528-0020. That's 528-0020. 